Hi, I'm Jose Gallego, and I'm going to be a senior at Pueblo High School, but currently I am in Dr. Nathan Ellis's lab, where I'm conducting experiments with chemotherapeutic agents to better understand the re DNA repair process in both normal kidney cells and kidney cells with the DNA repair deficiency. Like in this case, where the deficiency is in NSMCE2, one of the most critical enzymes found in the DNA repair process. So in this lab, we're focused on how does the inconsistent DNA repair process contribute to the development of cancer? Well, in my lab, I focused on two cell lines. One normal cell, the other mutant. Normal type, usually having two enzymes to have survival and replicate. While mutant only has one. So I introduce a drug to both the cell lines. Normal type will go through the drug and have A canceled but B, meaning survival, being able to replicate. While mutant will have both replication enzymes destroyed, meaning death. If we can use less drugs and be more effective in killing mutated types, which are modeled after cancer, without killing the normal types, then this would be an ideal therapy. After my experience in the Ellis lab, the questions that I still have are, is there a way we can prevent aggressive cancers from mobilizing? And also, is there a way we can weaken mutations so we can use less drugs but still be more effective?